Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Tonight we are going to do a plan with me. I'm also going to lay out these October 2018 Wacky Holidays in my monthly. Um, the plan with me is just going to consist of the last two weeks of October because I have already planned the first two weeks. So we'll jump right into that in just a moment. First, I wanted to let you all know to check out the description below. I have my Erin Condren referral link down there that will get you $10 off your first purchase of Erin Condren. And then I also have any referral links or discount, discount codes down there that I currently have access to. One of my PR codes right now is Rosebud20 for Megan Renee plans, so definitely check that out. And I'll also have links to my social media. So first we'll start out doing the wacky holidays. We're just gonna lay those out in the monthly view. I'll probably lay those out and then come back and then we will do the last two weeks of October. Okay, so I got this half laid out. I just kind of placed them in random places but left myself enough room to write other things in as needed in my monthly view. And then I've just got to lay down the other side. Now these are from Once More With Love. Um, I don't buy these often, but I thought they were really cute. So I wanted to go ahead and grab them for um, this month. And then I did grab them. I did grab them for um, December as well. I really like this Mad Hatter Day one. So I'm just kind of laying them down randomly. There is no real method to the madness here. It's just to get them on there. And I will be able to look at them when I see my monthly. I thought my monthly was just a little bland, so I wanted to add a little bit of deco to it, but in a more functional way. That's why I figured I would add these. So as soon as we get this done, um, we're going to focus on the last two weeks of October. Um, if I haven't already said it, I will link the shops below. That way you can find these if there's any of these that you like. Ooh, I am a pasta person. Pasta day, October 25th. For anyone that's interested. <laughs> and we got Frankenstein day on the 26th. So, like I said, we are almost done with this. Now this one, I gotta get a little creative. Because I've already got a big sticky there. So... There's all those laid out. Use that whole sheet there. It didn't take much time. And then we're gonna go over to the second, the last two weeks in October. And I did do some of my pre-planning like I usually do where I pulled a few stickers. So I'm gonna pull those out. Put those where I see them. And um, I've got two different kits I'm using this week. Well, these two weeks, I'm using this page from Sweet Bean Plans here. Um, you'll notice that this right here kind of matches the washi I used last week. And then um, I got this Cricut Paper Co. kit right here that I'm going to use the week of, or the week before Halloween. So we're going to go ahead and I will get this laid down. And then I'll start plugging some other stuff in. I'll lay this down first, and then I'll come back and plug the other stuff in with you all. Okay, so I got that kit all laid out. Um, well, not even the full kit, just the full boxes I bought from it. Um, I really loved them, so I grabbed those, and they've got beautiful foiling on them. If you want to see that full kit, um, I know that I shared it in a haul, but as to which one, I can't quite remember. Now, I did go ahead and lay out these morning and night routines for me to check off each day. And then I am going to go ahead and lay out my water trackers as soon as I can find my other page of them. This is the problem. You run out of one page and you need a new one. So, and I did pull some other deco sheets if I need them, but I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out my water trackers 
And I think this time around, I'm just gonna put those right on top of these morning routines. Kind of put it all together there. And I only do them for Monday through Thursday because on the weekends, I don't really think to um, track my water very much. We're kind of up and down and we go places and we stay very busy, so. I don't focus on it then. Half the time I don't even look at my planners much on the weekend if I'm not filming. So got my water trackers laid down and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my little pre-planning stickers. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to those for just a second. I want to go ahead and lay down my list that I am doing. So we are actually going to just do it. Um, cut these lists like I did before so that you've got three for each. Three seems to be a good number for me when it comes to my checklist. And I thought I had something else laid out to use. But now that I'm looking, I don't, I don't think I have anything laid out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this little checklist here. And just try to line those up a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. And these are just kind of like my three daily tasks I want to get done that day. And it can be something as simple as start laundry or cook dinner or whatever. So, and these are from The Giving Girl. And I have used them in a previous plan with me and they just work really well for adding some more foil to a layout. So I've got those put down and then I am going to try to do a no spend. So I want to lay down a no spend tracker. I've got these here from Wonton and a Million that I haven't used yet. We're actually gonna start with these. So I will put a no spend tracker down right here See, do I want it here or do I want it here? I think I want it over here. This is my no spin for the week. So you know what? Instead of putting it there, we're going to put it over here in my note section. That's kind of my for the week section. So I will lay that down. Okay, we've got my no spin. And then let's plug in some of the weekly chores and some of our um, task list here. I know that I get paid on Friday, so that is probably when I will go to the grocery, lay that little grocery sticker down, and lay a payday sticker down. And then I also will work on planning on probably Sunday here. So I'm just gonna put that down and I might write in which planner I'm focusing on. And then um, I actually start back to school this week, so on the 17th, so I'll put a little back to school sticker down. And I'm debating, I'm going to pull in the organize this stickers, I'm debating on if I want to put them down here or not. Um, I probably will, so we'll put back to school right there, because that starts on Wednesday. And we will probably clean the fridge out on Thursday. And I'm trying something new by kind of doing the talk through. If you all aren't interested in that, just let me know. And we won't do it again. So I pulled a little study sticker, but I'm not sure how much studying I'll actually have to do the first week. So do I want that there or over there? I think my little organize this stickers are going to go right here. And what I'll do is write in something each day that I want to focus on organizing throughout the week. So, 
The more I look at it, would I have liked that up here better? Nah, we'll keep it down here. Alright, so I've got those put in. I've got my checklist. I've got my water trackers. And I think I've got plenty of deco for this. I don't think I really need more deco on this page. Now, I did pull a lot, but um, I'm not sure I'm going to use any of it. Um, we are going to do our nap tracking like we have been. So we're getting out little Winnie from every other week. Um, we've got our litter box that has to be dumped. And then we've got our dishwasher that has to be emptied and I'm trying to see if I have anything else I want to pull um, I did get out my um, book that has all my sampler stickers in it as well in case I wanted to use those okay so we'll just put our little dishwasher icon here we'll do our little nap right here and then we will just put the litter box on here. That way I do it sometime in the week. It doesn't have to be on a specific day though. All right, and I think that's all I'm gonna do for this week. Um, I do add stuff in as I come across it. So for now, here's what we've got for the first part of the week. And then here is what we have for the second part. So nothing too fancy, but it'll work well and I can always add in more if I'd like. So over here, I did do a little bit of pre-planning and I'm actually going to lay those things down um, in a moment, but first, let me get my kit out. This is my kit from um, Cricut Paper Co. It's a micro kit and I'm gonna lay this out and then we will be right back. Okay, so I did lay the kit out. I do still have some left over, and now I'm going to add in my other stickers. I've got some that I got from um, various shops that I pulled for pre-planning. So here, um, I'm going to lay out this little pack sticker and put it right here. And this is packing because we are going to my stepbrother's wedding this upcoming weekend. And then here, um, I'm going to put this little church sticker right here. And I will actually write their wedding date there. Um, well, write their names there on that date for their wedding. And then I'll put this little sticker here. It's a little Tinta putting on mascara. I thought that would just be cute because that's a day that I actually will be putting on makeup, which I don't do very often. So we're going to put her there. And then I got this little oops sticker. Um, like, oops, I bought too many stickers and I'm planning to organize my sticker some on Sunday once we're back home from the wedding. Um, I also let's see want to get my nose spin laid out and I did get some washi little witch washi to use um, I got it at Michael's but I'm going to um, I put that down earlier all right we're gonna put down our little nose spin here and let's go ahead and get our um, chore type of stickers put down really quick so we've got our little uh, no spend. We've got our dishwasher. Um, let's see. And as soon as I find it again, I'll lay down a litter box one. Um, oh, here they are. So I've got my little litter box one for the week. And we'll just put that in this corner here. And then if I can find Winnie, we will lay down our nap tracker. And then I've also got some more little Hocus Pocus stickers that I can lay out. Okay, so our nap tracker there. Now see, I've got these different little witch, um, or these different little characters from Sweet Bean Plans. I'm debating on whether I want to use my Sanderson stickers from Sweet Bean Plans, which I've got right here or I've got these that I can use and I thought I had one more I guess I don't 
Yeah, I think that's all I've got that are Sanderson stickers. So I'm going to use one of those or some of those. Um, I just realized I don't have a laundry sticker laid out. So let's go ahead and put one of those out. And we'll actually do laundry on Sunday when we've gotten back. And I did leave a box over here empty. Now, who do I want to put there? I might actually hold on to this and go ahead and just do these for right now. I really love Sweet Bean Plans. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do a lot of hauls for her shop. She always does the cutest little stickers. So I think we'll put her here. Her here. And then since she's kind of the leader of the pack, there we go. So add those in. And I do still have checklists left if I want to add them on the weekend. But since we're going to a wedding, it can kind of be up in the air on what we actually do. Um, and then I do want to lay out my water trackers. So with the water trackers, I'm really hoping I'm getting better at the habit of drinking enough water that I won't need these soon, um, especially since I'm down to my last sheet of them. So if I don't have to rebuy, that would be great. It would save me some money, but we'll see. Um, and then here, I went ahead and I did lay down my morning and night routines before. So this is my layout for this week. It's nothing fancy, but I really like the turnout. And... Um, I'm excited to use this, especially since it's, uh, you know, wedding for the family. So there is this week. And then next we will start November. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.